thing called Guess the Brit. Like Brit as in Brit. Brit. As in Brit. Yeah. So I've got 10 pictures to show you. And you've got to guess who is in it or what is in it. Um, okay. we're, we're generous here. So if you're struggling and if you need like one of the names, we'll give you like a first name or a last name. And if you can finish it off, we give you the point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This doesn't sound like a game I'm going to be good at, but. Hey, you never know. You never know. <laughs> like, I reckon the first five questions are harder than the last five. But okay. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So. The first picture we've got to show you is a uh, former soccer player. Um, mm -hmm. he, he was big in LA because he played for the Galaxy. Um, and uh, probably around the time that you moved there, actually, he played for the Galaxy, maybe. Uh, and now he owns a team um, in Miami called Inter Miami. Um, and his wife was a Spice Girl. And he's quite famous. Do you know who this guy is? Mm. Is he in movies? Uh, has he been in movies, guys? He's been in a. He's had a couple of cameos. He's had a couple of cameos, yeah. And like TV shows. I feel like I've seen him before, but <laughs> I have no idea. Hmm. Is right. Do you want his first name or his last name? We will give you the point if you can. Tell <laughs> name. Uh, I guess we'll go first name. Okay, David. David. And, and I, I, I'll give you one last clue. He's got the same surname as a really flashy, famous wide receiver in the NFL who makes great one-handed catches. <clears throat> Beckham. There you go. Boom. Boom. <laughs> you walked me to it, but... David, David Beckham. Hey, you said it, not me. <laughs> All right. I should have known. <laughs> I think he is in movies. I feel like I've seen him in movies before, like he's multiple. Been movies. in movies. He's he's like yeah, maybe. Right. I'm not going to give you any help on this one because this one is this person here is the most important person in our country. Okay. You know who <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would be embarrassed. That's the queen. Um. Uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll give it. Yeah. We'll, we'll give you it. Well, oh wait, I think I know the name, but I, I got to think of it real quick. Um, it's not Queen Elizabeth. It's yeah, Queen. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it is Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So that that one's a major tick because that's like a really personal one. She's on all our money. Her face is on all of our money. So um, yeah. So yeah. Okay. This next one's a uh, uh, music. Uh, it's music, it's an artist, a singer. Um, he's had like cute loads of hit songs, like a number one album in America, I think. Uh, and he had a hit song with Justin Bieber as well. Do you know who this guy is? Nope, I have no clue who that is. I don't think <laughs> I've ever even seen that person before. <laughs> Do you know what? I'll tell you his last name, because that's the, in, you might end up knowing it. His last name is Sheeran. Ed Sheeran? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. So you, you have heard of him before. I knew you had. Yeah, I've heard of him, but I've definitely never seen him before. Everyone always <laughs> says, like, I don't know who it is, but, like, he's, yeah. He's probably, like, the biggest, I'd say the biggest music star in England, like, these days, like, worldwide. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he was on that little that. Dicky Earth song and with, like, Justin Bieber and that. So I think if you get on that song, then you're pretty big these days. Um, yeah. All right. This one is two pictures, but it's the same person. We'll give you a point if you can tell us either the actress's name or their character name in this movie. Okay? So, do you know who this is? Oh! <laughs> okay, so she's in Harry Potter. Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> I do know this. Um, <laughs> Lucy? Lucille? I don't know. <laughs> Her last name is Granger in Harry Potter. And it also Granger? begins with H. And it also begins with H. Yeah, I don't know it. <laughs> that one's been a tough one, you know. Like, a lot of people yeah. struggle. Her name's Hermione. We know her, but we don't, like, know the name. That's fair. So, in, in Harry Potter, she's called Hermione. Um... Hermione Granger, and her real name is Emma Watson. 
Emma Watson. <laughs> I should have known that. All right. Uh, this guy is a judge on an American talent show. Um, he's the mean one. He's the mean guy. He's the mean guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know this talent show. Oh, dang. I knew this was going to be a game I'm not good at. <laughs> well done. Can I know who he is, is, but. You've got three out of uh, the bar, so. Can I get a last name or the start of his first name? What do you want? Last name or first name? Let's go last name. His last name is Cowell. Cowell. Oh. He's mean. Like, I know who he is. <laughs> I've watched him so many times. The answer's there somewhere. His first name oh. is S. That's, that's as much as I can say. S. Dang. I'm brain farting real bad right now. I have no <laughs> His name is Simon. Simon, that's yep. <laughs> yep. That's fine. That's cool. Right. So they're the first. You got three out of five in the first five. It. I reckon you could get five out of five for the rest of this now. Because I think the second half is is a lot easier. All right. Yeah. This. Who is this English actor? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know. Okay, I, I know actually, he was just in a movie I just watched. He was I don't know. He's in like he's in like I think I think I've seen him in Thor. He's in Thor. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's in a few things. I'll give you. Well, a he's first, in a lot of movies. I'll give you a first name or a second name if you want to choose. Oh, I'm terrible with names, but let's go. Um, first let's name. Go first name. Yeah, Idris. You said what? Idris. Idris? Idris. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that. <laughs> it's Idris Elba. Idris Elba. He's been like a really popular one. Like you got you got Ed, like Queen Elizabeth quicker than some people have got Idris Elba, which is quite surprising. <laughs> like, it seems really yeah, I'm terrible with names. Like I see them, but I don't know the names. All right, you're gonna get this one now. You're gonna get this one. This guy, right, when you're in the NFL, okay, when you're in the NFL, uh, you could eat at this dude's restaurant, like, every night. And okay. you know him, because if you think Simon Cowell is the mean one, you know this No, he, he's the chef. It's the chef. Oh, my goodness. Is this another case if you know it, but you just can't get the name? I'm trying to think, like, I'm, I remember as an episode where he's literally, like, putting like this girl between like, <laughs> like two loaves of bread. Two loaves of bread, bread. Loaves yeah. of bread. like what are you? <laughs> <laughs> An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm just dude, I'm just doing bad. It's frustrating because you know it. You you you're describing the scenes. Yeah, I know I can you know the guy. So Come on, what do you want? First or last name? And I know the name. Like, I know it. You know what? I'm going to give you the first name, and I reckon you're going to get the last name. <laughs> I do. I believe it, right? His name's Gordon. Ramsey. Gordon yeah. Ramsey. Go. That's what it is. There we go. I knew it. I could see it in your eyes that like you had it. I, I know it. I'm just a brain. I'm brain farting bad today. It's Friday, man. It's alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Right. This is the most important drink in England that people drink all the damn time. What is that in that cup? Uh, coffee? You don't say coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. It's a really, really important English drink, okay? Um, okay. Um, you guys do drink it, but you usually drink it like flavored. Um, Iced. And you have it iced. Like uh, tea? Uh, yeah. It's tea. That was going to be my next guess, but then it like it looks like it's creamy. That's why I was thinking coffee. No, you, so you yeah. guys put cream in your coffee or your tea? You put yeah, milk. Yeah, we do. We have yeah, milk, yeah. And, milk and sugar. Milk and See, sugar. That's what, that's what's throwing me off, because when I look at like, when I'm thinking of tea, normally it's not like creamy looking. It's like just a solid like color. Of, yeah. right. No, no, mm -hmm. English tea is, very, is usually milky, like very milky. Okay. This is a really famous English takeout. Um, we call it takeaway, but you call it takeout. Uh, mm. What is this meal? 
fish and chips. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, well, how did you get that so quickly? Because I eat that sometimes. Are I you mean, a like, fish? I, eat, I, I eat, it's probably not the same. It's probably like a, a fake, like suckier version, but they call it <laughs> fish and chips here. Like in some places, they'll call it still call it fish and chips. Well, in mo in so in like pretty much every neighborhood, there's always like a fish and chip like, takeout on the corner, and you go really? in and you get like a fish and chips for like five pounds or something like that, and it's yeah, it's good. Is, is that a question that people normally get, or they don't get that right? Mm, no, no. I think I think people know it because like it's like I had someone going so that, like fish and fries, and I was like. Mm -hmm. Well, it is technically for you guys, but like it's an English yeah. thing that we call it fish and chips. So. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Like a traditional Friday, uh, Friday evening dinner. So you're, you're, I think you're on, I mean, to be fair, I think you're on six and this would make it seven. So seven yeah. hours won't be so <laughs> I know you've had like a little, little, just a little bit. You get this one. A little, right. Just a little bit of help. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this guy is probably the most famous English football, like football player. Mm -hmm. um, he's not in the league right now, but he did win a Super Bowl as the starting running back like three years ago or two okay. years ago. Do you know who this guy is? Uh, <laughs> I was actually just watching a highlight about him. He's, a, he's like a power back, huh? He was running people over. So um, he went to Boise State. He played for the Dolphins really famously out of school, mm -hmm. college, and then he went to Philadelphia in the 2018. He finished there. Yeah, he, the 2018. Yeah. He's like, ugh. he's from London, England. I don't know his name, but I know that I, I watched the highlight on Instagram of him literally two days ago. Because <laughs> I know the number. Go on then, first, first or last? Uh, I'm probably not going to know either, so let's just go first. Jay. Yeah, I don't know that. <laughs> Jay, Jay, Jay Ajayi? Jay Ajayi. Oh, I didn't know that. That's who it was. I didn't know he was uh, English. Yeah, yeah, he's from England. There's, there's four guys that I think you'll like you know, from England. There's a, guy, there's a guy who's on the Panthers roster called Effie Obada, the defensive mm -hmm. end. Um, he makes a 52 every year, but he, I think he's like second string. There's a punter, the starting punter for the Browns, a Scottish, Browns. believe it or not. Um, but the, the best English player, probably O.C. O.C. Amanura? O.C. O.C. Amanura. So he, he's English, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, O.C. Amanura, he was a starting defensive end for the Giants a few years ago when they won the Super Bowl. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, he's he's good. He's a good. He's a, he was a really good player. Really good player. Yeah. He used to get like twelve sacks a season in the NFL. Really? See, that's that's one of my goals. I want to get twelve sacks this year. I'm sure you will. I'm sure. Yeah. You will. <laughs> I'm gonna do what. I'm gonna flip my. Do you want to have a little look? Right. You probably don't. But this is what I'm looking out onto. So this is this is like my state. So it's actually just started raining a lot, but mm -hmm. it was. 90 degrees and now it's like as you can tell through the interview my room's got darker because yeah. it's really like i mean to be fair it's like five minutes to nine o'clock so that's mm. kind of okay. that's crazy so that 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 weather's like colorado so colorado could be like 80 degrees at one point and then literally two hours later it'll be like snowing or raining oh, like yeah. it just it is <laughs> real fast that's insane I went to colorado maybe seven years ago Mm -hmm. uh, we went skiing um, and it was the hottest winter in 30 something years and yeah it's still better skiing than europe just because you're so hot. really oh, yeah so hot man people were skiing around in like bikinis and kilt <laughs> isn't it crazy that they crazy. really go out there not wearing like gear and stuff like they go yeah, in there and really like, shorts. shorts and a t-shirt like mm -hmm. there with like some of that <laughs> jacket hat scarves like skiing around and, yeah and then, but it's crazy Crazy, right? Place, so, really. But um, I made it into my room, so I'm just gonna show you guys it's the liar uh, posters. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. There's, there's yeah. one. Oh, How do I flip this camera? And then this is the one I was just talking about. Let's see. This oh, one right here. Everyone wants to be a beast until you see what beast is. Let me full screen it. Hold on. Yeah. 
speaking you. There it is. Oh, there we are. So then this, this is the leadership one I was talking about. And then here's the, the other line one right there. And then the one behind me is just, the one behind me is just a big line. <laughs> yeah. I like it, though. Oh, but cool. I, I do got my Broncos in here. Ah, nice, man. Nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. I love it. Like, to be fair, like, because because I want college football to grow so much, like, there's no college football team that I look at and go, like, I don't like. Um, and yeah. I've, got, I've got a couple, I've got a couple, like, being a Giants fan, Cowboys, Eagles, but but the Broncos are cool. I like the Broncos. Yeah, no, they're, ch they're chill. <laughs> yeah, they're chill. I mean, look, they're, hey, if, if Eli's cool with Peyton and the Broncos, I'm cool with the Broncos. Like, that's, <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. That's for sure. Right. So we're just coming to the very, very last part. We've got six questions for you. It's, there's no right or wrong answer. It's called this or that. And you just tell us which one you'd prefer and why. Okay. okay? So Nathan's first, but Nathan's disappeared off my I screen. don't know what's happened to my camera, but can you hear me? We can, yeah. we can hear you. Hear you. <laughs> oh, come on. So would you rather win the national championship with Colorado or be a first round NFL pick next year? I'd rather win the national championship with Colorado. Why is because, that? Because it's a two for one. When you're on a good team, <laughs> you get you get drafted higher anyways. So yeah. like What's if that? they work together and on top of that, I, I just winning the national championship doesn't come around often, you know. Neither does getting first drip, drafted first round, but winning the national championship is something that you could just talk about forever. Your whole team's gonna be a part of it. Like that'd be fun. That would be dope. That would be real cool. So is that answer the same even if it's guaranteed the championship, but uh, you're going to be a second or third round. You still take the championship, even if you. Know oh yeah, most know. definitely. Yes, most definitely. I like that answer. Cool. I was about to say, like, we get that answer all the time. So what about what about I like I reduced the stakes and just said that you won the Pac-12, all being a well, like this year, right? Right. So that now that would be a little different. Pack just the Pac-12 mm. championship. Ooh. Mm. I still think I would pick the same thing because they, like, even though it's not the national championship. Yeah, it still has those things that you get a chance to go to the national championship, and like there's just more to it. So I definitely still want to win that the, the championship, and I do like winning. So yeah, what I was I'm still talking about you having that game where you go to play USC or yeah. in, in the Rose Bowl or something. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> I would. Still that would be true. If that was the pinnacle of my college career, I'd still happily, happily take that. So Right, right. If you just go back and think about it, just talk about, like, I was there, I was a part of it, and not only being a part of it, but you won at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that any day. That's fair. That's fair. Sweet. Okay. Um, not something a lot of D-linemen tend to be in, in the running for, but, I, I mean, we'll go with it. Would you rather be Heisman winner or NHL, NHL, NFL Hall of Fame, where the H came from. A Hall of um, Famer. Or yeah, I want to be a Hall of Famer. Sweet. That, that's that's like, yeah, that's legendary to be a Hall of Famer. I'm taking that. <laughs> nice, that's fair. I get that. Um, so uh, I'll uh, I'll put a disclaimer, a disclaimer for anyone who watches this that Mustafa will be more than happy to play for any any NFL team that drafts him. <laughs> just just for the basis of this game um would you rather join a team that's just won the super bowl um or a team that's just started a rebuild uh, a team that just won the super bowl mm, and wow. that is because they already have a a winning um a winning strategy a winning culture and i just want to be a part of that i mean Obviously, that would I would have to fight to be a starter and fight to get on the field, but being a part of a winning culture would be really cool. So, and like you just learn a lot more from people that have been there and done it. Not saying that the team that is starting over hasn't, but they're already there. If I have the choice, I'm going to choose the people that are already there instead of building. So, what that tells me is just to to wrap it up in the most. Uh, uh, um, what do you call it, non-contentious way, is that, <laughs> is that you would, 
you're you're saying that you would put being part of like you want to be a winner and you'd put that above your own you know with with built with a rebuild you could maybe start week one but you're you're more focused on wanting to go into a team with a winning culture so you're putting the team before yourself so right yeah i, I like success over anything i like i like to see people win i want to be part of winning like i just like seeing successfulness from everybody so i'd prefer that <laughs> but at the same time you like you, uh, if you if you get picked by one of the Super Bowl winners or something like that, you'll be picked at the end of the round. So we'll move on. We'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a lot to play into it, but yeah, there is. That, so much I didn't it. even talk about the opportunity at the end of there's still that chance of you going back to the Super Bowl. Yeah. So that's fair. That's fair. All right, black screen, Nathan. Bay <laughs> in a cold weather state or a hot weather state. Um. I want to say hot weather because I like going to the beach and I like being able to swim and stuff like that. But that's not always guaranteed. So I like, I personally like the cold. So mm. I always say you can only take so many layers off. I can add on as many layers as I need, you know? And me just being a big boy, once I get so hot, I, I just get real irritated when I'm shirtless walking around and I'm still hot. <laughs> so I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I hate yeah. like. Oh. I just see like if you played if you play for let's say like the Cardinals, that's just like gotta be so for all that. Oh, it is. Yeah. So my brother, my brother lives in Arizona, and it's just oh, nice. like whenever I go visit him and stuff like that, like it's just horrendous. Like the heat is, you definitely have to get like used to it. Mm. Like because people that live there, they're like, oh, it's nothing. But those first two weeks of getting into it, it's like, oh, this is the worst <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> yeah. But imagine being on that defense with Chandler Jones and Patrick Peterson. <laughs> that would yeah. be nice. That would be nice. Uh, go on, Sam. So, next one. And I, th I think we've already seen – I mean, you kind of mentioned this a bit before when we were talking about your return from injury. Uh, and you kind of got a glimpse, I think, of what the answer is going to be with your posters. But we'll ask it anyway. Are you more of a locker room leader or quiet, do your business, kind of lead by example? So kind of vocal or – so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle because I mainly just keep my head down. I just do what I need to do. I keep my, I get my job done. I get, and, um, but I also motivate people and lift people up. My, I know I got like, my biggest flaw is that I don't like make sure everyone else is doing it right. If that makes any sense. Like you have those vocal leaders that are like, all right, guys, like you gotta do this, this, and this, let's get it done. Yada, yada, yada. That's not me. Like, I do what I got to do. I'm going to get it done. And then if I see other people doing a good job, I'm going to uplift them and cheer them on for doing a good job, you know? Okay. So I'm kind of into both, but I'm not a person that's just going to, you guys need to do this, this, and this, and we need to get it done now type of thing. Got you. Got you. Oh. So it's the last question I've got for you. And do you know what? All the questions have been great, but this one is the one that matters the most. So be really careful. I'm pretty sure that's pretty much the right answer, but just in case. We haven't had the wrong answer yet, just saying. So, right, here's a scenario, okay? So you're on an NFL team. can be whatever team that you want it to be, but you're on an NFL team. And the commissioner, Roger Goodell, comes and speaks to your GM uh, and says that we, we've picked your team to be part of this year's London Games. So you'll be going to play one of your home games or one of your away games overseas in London in Wembley Stadium in front of 90,000 fans in the UK. Do you want your GM to say, nah, that's okay, offer it to someone else? Or would you want to come play, uh, play a game in front of us, us, and, uh, <laughs> and, and 89,997 other fans and spend a week in London? Well, I've never traveled before, so... I'm definitely going to London. Like, that, that's a no-brainer for me. And then on top of that, I mean, why not expand the new different new fans and new people and just a new culture? So that, that was a no-brainer. I'm definitely – I don't want – I want them to say yes. Like, we want to go. <laughs> I mean, not just because this is recording, not just because it's recording, but if you were – if I'm going to turn a light on here because it's got really dark in this room. Oh. <laughs> As he struggles to find freaking – <laughs> there we go 
All right. Not just because this is recording, by the way, but if you if you get on an NFL team and you come play in London, whatever in your career, you've got to you've got to let us hit you up and uh, come and see you <laughs> come and see you before the game. Most definitely, I got to. I have no choice. I got new friends now. I gotta exactly. <laughs> I gotta say what's up. You get like you get like three or four nights over there, so we'll come and show yeah. you like a, t- a true tourist, like show you the best spots to go to. So yeah, best fishing well, that would be dope. <laughs> but definitely. Well, uh, Mustafa, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you've given up loads of your time um, this afternoon, evening. Yeah, well, thank you, up. thank you for reaching out. No, we, it's a pleasure. It's an absolute pleasure. Um, we're just trying to grow. NFL is huge here, but college football is still growing. And, yeah. and you know, so many people are, and absolutely no problem with this, but, you know, you come across a lot of LSU, LSU fans and Alabama fans, but college football go right down to, because, you know, even though Colorado is not a small school, it's it's small compared to LSU and Alabama. Right, and it's LSU. not one of those, like, mainstream, like, exactly. that everyone knows, right? So that's most of, pretty much all of our interviews have come with schools like Colorado and similar size and stuff like that. So we just want to teach a little bit more about the other schools, uh, other schools that are out there and some of the great, the great talents and stars coming from those schools, because we're, we're going to know these names next year. Uh, right. You know, your, everyone's going to know your name this time next year. Who doesn't know? <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. So all we can say is thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we hope you have a, a great 2020 season, however the season ends up looking. But most importantly, above all, that you, your teammates, your coaches all stay safe in this really crazy, scary time for everybody. Right. Um, it's affected us all. That's one thing that we have in common, Colorado, England, that we've all been affected by it in some way, shape or form. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've had family members who have been really ill with it, um, who've come through the other side, which is good. But but yeah, so please, yeah, stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, and you know, we'll, if, you're ever, if you're ever around, we'll hit you up as well, maybe before the draft or after the draft or something. If you want to come and check in with the UK fans, I'm sure uh, we'd love to have you back. But yeah, anyway, stay safe, take care. And, uh, Sounds good, thank you. You guys stay safe too. See you, man. See you later. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, Bye. good luck, man.